Hi everybody, it's Mr. Graziano here. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this assignment that I you hopefully have picked this sheet up. Uh, first, I want to say this: uh, I'm, I'm really uh, bummed that we didn't able to finish the class up because we got some really neat things planned. We were going to do some pastels and other things like that that you guys would have loved, and you would have really gotten to be a better artist with it. But let's do this assignment. So. How this works is this, this little square, I'm gonna take this square out here that I have on this sheet and we're gonna replace it with a drawing. So you're gonna poke your pencil, your pen, your uh, scissors in the corner and then cut out this square. Now I already cut out some of it, so I'm just gonna complete it by cutting out the rest of this little square. Okay, so I cut the square out. Then I've got this little scrap of paper or you can do this in your sketchbook as well. I'm gonna turn this on the back and cover that up. So now I've replaced that square with a piece of paper, okay? Now I'm gonna take the square that I took off of here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw this stuff. Now what you can do, rather than just drawing this train freehand, you can kind of, I'm gonna say cheat, but you can almost cheat a little bit. Well, I can see right here that this piece starts here, this line, and then it travels all the way over to here. So that's pretty easy. I can just draw a really light line with my number two pencil going from there to there, okay? I can also see right here, there's a little part coming in. Now for this big loopy lace here, uh, what you could do is this. You could say, all right, um, here's the top of my lace right there. I put my pencil there and then I just remove that and there's a little mark there, okay? And then I'll go over here and say, here's the side of that loop. So I move my pencil in there right there. So I already have a pretty good idea of where things are going to be. So I'm gonna start drawing this, okay? And I'm gonna draw right, put a mark right here where the bottom of that is, and I'm gonna come down to here. So I'm gonna do this drawing of what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna do this, and that lace comes through, and then this comes through like this, and that's getting kind of, oh, it's kind of like up here, and it comes around this way. So there's my lace, okay? Now a couple other things. You can see this little uh, metal eyelet where the lace comes out of. I'm gonna put my pencil right there. Let's try that again. Put my pencil right there, lift it up, and I can draw that little metal eyelet. So I'm draw using my number two pencil, because you know that's not as dark as your ebony pencil, and I can kind of get these things in here. So use little markings to kind of mark where things belong, okay? So I just kind of start like that, and I start marking where these laces are coming out, where my little eyelet is, okay? Now I'm not super concerned that everything's perfectly in place, but um, I got little stitching coming down here. But for the most part, I want you to do as best job as you can. Now, the, the point of this assignment is so really, really want you to do is duplicate values. You know, if I talked about values one through 10, I can see this here is like a 10, super dark, okay? This is probably a five or even less. And the area where the laces are, you know, it's almost a one or a two. It's very, very light. But you can notice this part of lace right here. It gets a little darker right there. You're also going to notice a little texture in the lace. I'm not going to put texture in until I'm almost done. I'm going to do this value as though there is no texture, and then I'm going to go back and put the texture in, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to use your ebony pencil for some of this. So you can see for up here, you know, my ebony pencil, I'm going to put a little line there, and then I'm going to go away from that line so I have a really nice edge, and it starts fading away. So I'm going to make sure that I match up the value you can see here's that little lace coming right there. I'm gonna match up the value perfectly with the drawing that it connects with. So really what I'm trying to get you to do here is duplicate values exactly. And I say exact, I really want it exact. Because if you're not trying to do it exactly, you're really not gonna learn how to do it. Now you can see my lace was off a little bit here. So I'm gonna go and uh, adding my value. And if you need sandpaper, once in a while because your pencil's getting kind of dull. Just use that sandpaper and sharpen that pencil. Uh, hopefully you got some sandpaper, I didn't leave any for you, but if you have something like that at your house, I don't know, maybe your dad's got some in the basement or something, dig it up and see if you can find it. Now this little eyelet, this little ringlet, it's lighter. So what I need to do here is I need to draw around it. So I'm gonna leave it light I'm gonna use my ebony pencil, make it a little darker in here. I'm gonna go around it, okay, like so, so I leave it light. But when you look at it, it's not, it's light here, it's a little bit gray here, it's a little bit lighter here. I need to show that difference. So first of all, use a really sharp pencil. Okay, nice edges like this. 
and I can get around there. Now eventually, you're gonna get something that looks pretty much like this. I got one that's almost done now, okay? And here's my sample. And you can see here, let me see, zoom in a little bit here. Um, laces are done pretty darn well. I'm gonna take the little piece that's missing and you can see here kind of what it looks like. Now I said there's a little bit of a texture there. It's like a little zigzag. So right now, the value of this, this needs to have a little dark right here, just in that area. I'm gonna fade that a little bit. You can see that loop coming around. And then it's got these little zigzags. So I'm just gonna kind of draw these in there. Very, very light, just to kind of give that little texture. And the, the texture you add in later, you don't do that first, that's like your last step. So there's a little bit of a texture there. You can say I just added that to it. And if you see some texture other places, you can do that same thing. For the stitching, stitching's kind of hard, okay? This is, you could leave it light, or if you want to, you could reverse the stitching and just make it dark stitching, because sometimes it's just hard to do things white, especially when you're using a pencil, okay? Now this photocopy was actually a darker version of this same drawing, uh, so this was done previously, and I'm just show you that darker version here. So this one was darker, so we tried to duplicate that just as dark. So that's what you're gonna be doing now with the one that you have. Okay, so this is our first sort of lesson. I want you to do this. You can do this sheet, uh, you can little square behind there. And if you don't have that little square, uh, just tape it in your sketchbook and use your, and put this in your sketchbook, okay? Then remember, when you're done with this, take a photo of it, download it to your email on your computer, and then you can put it up on the Google Slides that I sent you with the Google Classroom, okay? So put it in there that I can see you got it done and I can mark you off, okay? All right, enjoy your time off, and but try to, try to be productive and try to learn something and try to do something you haven't normally done. Take advantage of this time uh, and try to be productive. You'll feel good about yourself as opposed to if you're just laying around in your pajamas all day. Don't do that. Okay, anybody can do that. All right, uh, have a good time. I'll catch you later. Bye.